Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Meredith and this is a channel about living life with and beyond a chronic illness. So last week we talked all about how to apply for disability benefits and I asked you guys if you wanted me to dedicate a whole video to how to create a medical binder since having your medical records on hand is so important when you are applying for disability benefits. So today I am actually going through my own medical binder and I am going to get rid of the things I think I don't need anymore and I'm gonna let you guys know what I decided to keep once I'm done. Also, if anyone was wondering slash cares, I have this ridiculous amount of eyeshadow on today because I had a performance this morning and I have another one tonight so there's no use in taking off my makeup. So I've got like some full stage makeup on right now which is why am I, I might look a little crazy today? <laughs> sorted out what I want to recycle and what I want to keep to put into my medical binder. So as you can see there's a lot of stuff that I can get rid of and there's a whole nother pile that's also fairly large but there's actually a few things in it that are large packets that don't necessarily need to go in the binder but I do want to keep for my own personal records. So now I'm going to go through my business cards that I have for different doctors and get rid of the doctors that I don't see anymore. So now that I have gone through my medical binder and gotten rid of some stuff, I want to talk to you guys about what I decided to keep and what I think are the necessities for a medical binder. So to get started, you're going to want a binder. This is mine. Uh, it's sewn as opposed to like the plastic or something like that. Um, so it's really durable, which I love, and it also has a little place for a pen. I've also seen some people in the chronic illness community use portfolios, which also have business card holders, which I think is a really smart idea, considering a lot of doctors have business cards so that you have their phone number on hand and things like that. I, for that purpose, have just these clear like page protectors and I just kind of throw my business cards on there. It's not super organized but at this point I don't have so many business cards that I can never find the one I'm looking for. It might take a minute but it does the job. Maybe when this one breaks I'll buy one that has business card holders as well. So I have all of my business cards for all of my doctors. I also in my medical binder it kind of has two things. It has all the things that I will need when I go to a doctor's appointment, but it's also the binder that I go to when I need to refer back to what my nutrition plan is, what my graded exercise plan is. I have my wheelchair uh, manual in here as well as the paperwork kind of stating why I need a wheelchair in here, as well as all the information about all my current medical bills that I haven't paid yet. So that's kind of what is in the folders of my medical binder. But then in the actual binder part of it, I have stuff for all of my diagnoses and when I got diagnosed. So this isn't any proof that I have partial orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, but I do like to keep it on hand because it's a packet that my doctor gave me which I actually find super helpful and I wish I had it when I first got diagnosed. So there's a lot of useful information here, it's just nice to have like on hand but um, it says the name of it which kind of cues me to be like yes this is my diagnosis and behind the posh orthotic tachycardia packet I also have uh, my autonomic testing results. I have got autonomic testing twice just to be doubly sure. So I have basically proof that I have POTS. And then I have an audiogram which proves that I have hearing loss. And I have these little uh, diagrams of the ear and stuff like that. Like I said, I keep some stuff in here to have when I have a doctor's appointment, but some of it is in here just for me to be able to reference. 
So that is all of my diagnosis paperwork. And then the rest of the binder is just all of the paperwork that I've had from this past year. So I have a list of all the tests that my doctor wants me to get done. And I have a list of all of the blood work that they took that day and the results from that, as well as the paperwork from my last ER visit. So basically my binder is now only everything from this past year and all the test results that prove that I have my diagnoses and then my personal reference material. The one other thing that is not in my binder as of this minute that I'm going to type up and put in is a list of all of my current medications and dosages. So that's everything that's in my medical binder. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you now feel ready to tackle applying for disability benefits or just to tackle your next medical appointment. If you found this video helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up so that I know and be sure to hit that little red button and subscribe if you haven't already. I make new videos every Friday, so I'll see you next week. Bye.